Hey guys, here I am again to give you another example. Um, I don't know if you can hear my son playing the clarinet upstairs. There, you might get some musical background with this. So in the last one that I did, what I did was I went and I knew I had to go, sorry, five units left and two units down. And I just took every point on the graph and I did it that way. I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time. Is I'm gonna apply the rule and then graph it. You're gonna see, I'm gonna kind of do it backwards from what I did before. So here, because sometimes you're not given the picture on a graph, graph first, translate the figure four units right and three units up. The right is on my x-axis and the y and the up would be on my y-axis because the y-axis goes up and down. So in my pre-image, I have triangle D, E, F. And I'm going to put the points for each one. D is at negative 7, uh, negative 4. D is at negative 7, negative 4. E, I'm just going in alphabetical order, I go to the, my X, that's negative 4, positive 1. And then finally F, in the lobby, down the elevator, negative 3, down to negative 5. Those are the coordinates of my pre-image, that's just my X, Y's. I know my instructions for my translation say four units to the right. Again, that's going to be how it moves on the x-axis. And to the right means it's going to get bigger. I'm going to be adding four. So my new rule is going to be add four to x. That's going to move it to the right, move it that direction. And three units up, that's also adding. So I'm going to go... Um, y plus 3. That's my rule. That's the rule that's going to move my pre-image to the image. I'm going to do the math first and then put the plot, the points on the graph. So I'm going to make d prime. Remember it's the image and so it's got to have a prime so we know it's the copy. And I'm going to take my x I start with negative 7, I have to add 4. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. If you need to use a calculator for the math part, that's fine. Negative 4 plus 3, I have to add 3 to my y, is negative 1. For e, negative 4 plus 4, oh, those are opposites. They cancel out and make 0. E prime, zero, one plus three, easy peasy, that's four. F, negative three plus four is one. Negative five plus three is negative two. So I applied my algebraic rule, and that should make a congruent triangle. I should have D prime, E prime, F prime being a congruent triangle, and it's going to be over to the right and a little bit up. Let's see if when I plot my points, it does. So I want to go to negative 3, negative 1. That's right there. That's my D prime. E prime... I calculated to be at zero, four. In the lobby, zero, up the elevator, four. That's E prime. And then F, in the lobby, one, down in the elevator, two. That's F prime. Grab my ruler, try to make this look kind of nice. All right, I'm going to connect it, and it should look congruent to 
triangle DEF. Connect and oops, my ruler is not cooperating. There we go. Look, it is a congruent triangle. It was just translated. One, two, three, four. Like if I go from E to E prime, one, two, three, four to the right, one, two, three up. All of my points should be four to the right and three up because I applied the rule X plus four, Y plus three. Um, so that's the pattern that I see in the ordered pair that it you might, when you add four to the uh, X coordinate on the pre-image, and you add three to the y coordinate on the pre-image, you get the coordinates for the image, which shifts it four units to the right and three units up. And again, my algebraic rule is my original x, oops, x comma y turns into x plus four, y plus three. That's the algebraic rule. There you guys go, a second example for actually plotting a image from a pre-image.